Welcome to the video tutorial for Conversation Builder. Let's start by launching the application. Welcome back to Conversation Builder. The very first thing we need to do is set up a student profile. So you click this button here, and then we'll say it's a new user. And I ask for several pieces of information. I ask for the first and last name. I ask for the age, the primary interest, and the city that they live in. And I use all this information inside the conversation um, to personalize it for each student. So in order for this student to play, all of this information must be entered. So we hit the Create button. Then we select the type of conversation we want to have. We have one-on-one -on -one conversations and group conversations. One-on-one -on -one conversations are between the student and a virtual friend in the application. And then group conversations, you will pass the iPad around to multiple people and let the conversation go in any direction. On the one-on-one -on -one conversation, I am guiding the conversation in a particular direction. And then you select, do we want a four exchange or do we want an eight exchange conversation? If you're playing one-on-one -on -one conversations, then the next thing you do is select who initiates the conversation. You can select the student to be the initiator of the conversation. On the peer setting, then the student will respond to somebody initiating conversation with them. And then on the alternate button, it will randomly choose who starts the conversation. The next thing we need to do is select the conversation module you want to play. The standard conversation module comes with 40 conversations, but the number of conversations in the application can be expanded to 160 by purchasing these additional conversation modules that are theme-based. We have six themes, a holiday theme, a water theme, a playground theme, animals theme, friends around town theme, and a winter theme. So all the conversations within each of these modules pertain to that particular theme. And there are 20 conversations in each one. Once you have multiple conversation modules installed in the application, you may want to use this randomize button. When turned on, it will now randomize the conversations from all the available modules so you don't have to play a particular module and only have the conversations in that module. You'll have all of the conversations that will be played randomly. If you install Conversation Builder on a new device, if you press this Restore Purchases button, it will communicate with iTunes, and then any conversations that you've already purchased on another device will be instantly transferred to the new device. So you only have to purchase the conversation modules once. So let's move to the Play screen. How would you start this conversation? So the student is presented an image, and then they're asked, how would you start this conversation? They're given three choices in these three buttons above the picture. Now, if they choose the wrong answer, let's do this one, you have a red shirt. That's not the best way to start this conversation. Try saying hi. Then they're given an audio clip to give them a hint as to what should they try next. So let's go ahead and pick the correct answer. That's right. Now let's record it. So when they get the correct answer, the two other buttons disappear and they're prompted now to record the text that is inside the button that's left. So let's go ahead and do that. Hi Justin. So now you can play your recording. Hi Justin. And once you're happy with the recording, then you move on to the next leg of the conversation by pressing the next button. So when I press the next button, now the person that I'm talking to is going to respond back to me. Hey, what are you doing here? What would you say next? So after the response, then the student is asked, what would you say next? And then the process repeats. Now you also have the repeat last button that when pressed will repeat what was just said. Hey, what are you doing here? You have a skip conversation button. If you decide in the middle of the conversation that you don't want to continue and you want to move on to the next one, then you press the skip conversation button and a new image will be loaded. So let's go ahead and continue on with this conversation. So let's try this one. That's right. Now let's record it. So we got the right answer, so we're going to record this one. I'm camping with my parents. I'm camping with my parents. And then we'll go to next. Us too. Where's your tent? What would you say next? 
and then we'll try this one. That's right. Now let's record it. We're at a spot just over there. We're at a spot just over there. And then We're next. going to start a campfire and tell spooky stories. What would you say next? That's right. Now let's record it. I wonder if my parents would let me come. I wonder if my parents would let me come. You should ask them. So now the conversation is complete. So when I press the play conversation button, now all of the students' recordings and then the pre-recordings will be interlaced to form a complete conversation. So this is what it sounds like at the end of the process. Hi, Justin. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm camping with my parents. Us too. Where's your tent? We're at a spot just over there. We're going to start a campfire and tell spooky stories. I wonder if my parents would let me come. You should ask them. And that's the entire conversation. Now from there, you can play the conversation again, you can move to the next conversation, or you can save the conversation. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll call this one Camping in Fall. And we save it. So once you save a conversation, then it's loaded onto the archive page. So let's go ahead and go to the archive page. So now all the conversations that Jim Johnson has saved will show up here on the left pane. If you select one, then the image associated with the conversation comes up and you can play it, you can delete it, or you can email it. So let's go ahead and email it. So you get an image and then you get the audio file that was created with the interlaced conversation. And you can email it to wherever you'd like. We'll go ahead and cancel out of this. And that is, in essence, how Conversation Builder works. I do want to take you back to the settings page, and I want to go ahead and do a group conversation so you can see the difference between them. So let's go to play again, and we'll go to the next conversation. How would you start this conversation? So now you notice the difference is there's no buttons um, here. So you start the conversation any way that you want. Amanda, that's the biggest pumpkin I've ever seen. Amanda, that's the biggest pumpkin I've ever seen. Now pass your iPad to a friend and let them record a response. So now the difference with the group setting is after they've made their first recording, they're prompted to pass the iPad to somebody else to let them record uh, the next leg of the conversation. So you're going to do this in the group setting and pass it back and forth between however many people are in the group and create uh, completely new conversations. So that's how the group setting works in comparison to the one-on-one -on -one setting. And that is the end of the video tutorial for Conversation Builder. Please visit us at www.mobile-educationstore.com to find out about all of our applications. Thank you for your time.